What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today in this video we will be returning the WWE Elite Ranking Video Series where we take a series of WWE Elite Main Series sets and we rank all of the figures from worst to best and we put them in this tier list here that I provided. We've done this plenty of times in the past and the times that we've done them in the past we have bounced around from different superstars and those are plenty of more of those to come to the channel. We can do some ultimate updates. There's, there's definitely updates we could do but we're returning to the main Elite Elite line and taking five sets at a time and ranking I think it's like 30 figures or so from those sets and we're putting them in a tier list telling you if you need them in your collection or if you can skip over them or what the deal is and giving you my thoughts and opinions on all those said figures and we're returning it to today and I'm still working on the ranking WWE Elite Series 1 through 100 by set from worst to best and that video should be hopefully be coming very soon taking a lot of time to edit that one but it'll be worth it in the end but we're returning today but I just wanted to get into it and start this what the hell is that? That's the 1 of 5,000 Chase Darby Allen from Unmatched Series 1 of AEW Unmatched. And you can actually enter a giveaway to get this if you go to our Patreon page down in the description below. You can enter for a chance to win the 1 of 5,000 Chase Edition Darby Allen Mint on card. If you join our Patreon as an MDT Extreme Division member or higher, you're automatically enrolled every single month to win a WWE or AEW action figure and sometimes we're going to do even more than one figure could be two three four figures and to launch our Patreon page I wanted to start it off hot with a Chase AEW figure and we're going with the men on card unmatched series one Chase one of five thousand Darby Allen figure if that's something you guys are interested in definitely go check it out link in the description below to the Patreon page and there's lots of other perks over there man it's not just figure giveaways but it's bonus content lots of other things you get some stuff by mail there's a lot of cool things over there so I greatly appreciate it but if you're interested than that something you want to be interested in every month go and roll over there for the one of five thousand chase darby allen however with all those things being said man let's go ahead and put the figure off to the side and dive into this ranking here today now let's start things off with our tiers here starting out at the top we have the go buy it section if I put a, pick, a figure in the go buy it section, that means that you need to go buy it. It means that it belongs in your collection. I think that it needs to be in every WWE action figure collector's collection. Of course, that decision's up to you, but I'm telling you, you should go buy it. It's the MDT seal of approval, and that's what that is right there. Going a step below that, we have the good figure section. Now, this is a figure that if you wanted it in your collection, I would totally understand it. I'd say, you know what, Brad, that's a good figure right there. I see why you want that in the collection, but it's not must have 1000%, and that is what good figure is. A step below that is meh, which means it's not necessarily a good figure, but it's not necessarily a bad figure, and you know, the decision's kind of up to you where you want to play that, but it's kind of a mid figure. It's not the most exciting, but it's not like horrifically, egregiously bad, and so it's in the meh category. Below that, we have barely acceptable, and barely acceptable means you have maybe one redeeming quality about you, maybe a head sculpt, maybe an accessory, maybe something about you that's keeping you from the bottom tier, and that bottom tier is going to be the garbage, and if you're in the garbage, bro, you don't want to be there that's the, i mean that's the absolute lowest of the low you're garbage you're trash you're terrible you're egregious you're ass but we're gonna go ahead and dive into this thing and we're starting off with elite series 29 damian sandow and i would say that this is a good figure lots of great accessories with this figure like it's unbelievable how many great accessories are with this figure you get the money in the bank briefcase you get a ladder solid figure feels good in the hand Not, uh, his legs get a bit loose i'll say but outside of that, really good figure, sol solid, definitely solid. I don't think it's go buy it, you know, like it's your, if you want to capture a moment in time, go back, get it. If you want the Money in the Bank briefcase, maybe you can find that loose by itself. It's just not one of those that you just have to have, so it's going in the good figure. Next up is John Cena Elite 28. I'm the biggest John Cena action figure fan that you will find on the planet Earth, and this figure is barely acceptable, barely acceptable. I never liked this gear, okay? he's he did, The head sculpt's not very good. It didn't come with a shirt, which would have bumped it up a little bit. But it's probably, it's not as bad as his other figures because he's actually really poseable. He can actually stand up. It's actually a solid figure, like, foundation-wise. It's just all the other stuff. It probably could go in meh, but I'm going to put it in barely acceptable just because. And uh, just, like, I guess, because I'm a harsh Cena critic, uh, I'm the hardest on his figure. So I'm going to put it in barely acceptable. It could go up to meh. If people want to put it in good figure, I understand it, but it's definitely 
probably not go buy it. It's just, it's one of those just figures that it gets me upset. It's not one that I really want. It doesn't even look good men on card. It's just like one of those that I'm just like, nah, I don't really want this one. Next up is Elite 26 Big E. This one for me is so close to being barely acceptable, and it might just be. I'm going to put it in barely acceptable. Big E's figures are really hard to pose around. If you have one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. His arms are really far apart. Like, it's really tough. I think if he were an Ultimate Edition, he would do really well, but his head sculpt's not really good on this one. It's a singles Big E. It's just, again, it's kind of like the Sandow figure where it's kind of a moment in time, and it's not necessarily something you need in your collection of juncture. And uh, it's just not that great of a figure. I'm going to go with Barely Acceptable here. Next up is Jack Swagger. I actually like this figure a lot. I'm actually going to put it above the Sandow figure. I like his accessories. I like the gear. Really strong head sculpt for some reason on this guy. I actually like this figure a lot. He feels good in the hand. He does have pinecone joints, with it, which is what it is, but lots of cool details on it. I think he came with two different flags. It was a really cool fit. I actually like this figure a lot. I'm going to put it in good figure right here. Next up is the Elite 26 Road Dog. Very close to go buy it. I'm going to put it in good figure. I think that the gear is really cool. I like the head sculpt. I like that they went with the Bo Dallas torso. This is before the Bo Dallas torso, so technically this is the this is the Road Dog torso. I want to say uh, this might be the first time they used that torso. I could... No, nah, they used it on Matt Hardy. It was the Matt Hardy torso first, I think. And so I'm going to put him in good figure. Really, so I feel like it doesn't show any of the accessories here, but he comes with a hat, I think, and a, a rubber shirt, which is, you say what you will, it's a rubber shirt, but I, it's a good figure. I like it. It's a solid figure. I like it. You know, those things are, are there. Next up is Elite 26 Ultimate Warrior. I'm going to put this one in meh. I'm going to put this one in meh. This figure shelf formed horribly. And if Ultimate Warrior is show forming, it kind of gives you a little bit uh, about the figure. It's not horrible, you know? It's a head sculpt that's decent. It's, it's not something you really think of when you think of Ultimate Warrior. It's just kind of bleh to me personally. And uh, it's colorful. It gets the job done there. But it's just it's just not one of those that really stands out in your mind. I don't think it's must have. I don't, I, you know, I don't particularly like the figure that much. And it's not a bad figure. It's just, it's a perfect meh figure for me. So I'm going to put Ultimate Warrior Elite 26 in the meh category. And I think that works out for me there. Next up is Billy Gunn from Elite 27. So to pair with our Road Dog figure, this is... I'm going to put this in Go Buy It. I actually like this figure a lot. I like the formula. I like the head sculpt. You get some cool accessories. Really, like, stands out. I like the fluorescent green. It really stands out on the shelf. You can put a Mr. Ass decal on it. That would really be really nice as well. So I'm going to put Billy Gunn in Go Buy It. I think that works for me. I, li I like the figure a lot. He moves around really well as well, being on ball joints and stuff like that. Next up is Fandango. My God. This man was so damn muscular, it made no sense at all. Made no sense whatsoever. I don't know who the hell approved this torso. I mean, my God. I don't even know what to say about this figure. It's almost barely acceptable, but he moves around so good. The head sculpt's not even good, but for some reason, I like this figure. I'm going to put it below Warrior here, and I'm going to put it in meh. It's, it's laughably, like, ripped up. Like, just Jesus Christ. It is laughably ripped up. However, you know what? We're going to roll with it. I'm going to put it right below Ultimate Warrior here. Just, it moves around really well. He's on ball joints. He poses around with the best of them, so I'm going to put him in meh for now. Next up is Elite 27 Kofi Kingston. Good figure, man. Good figure. It comes with a t-shirt. If you wanted to put, like, I just don't think it's go buy it because it's just, again, I, I like many figures in this, in this deal here. It's kind of a moment in time. It's a very good figure it's a cloth goods it comes with a cloth goods t-shirt it's a very unique gear it might end up and go buy it before the end of this thing but i'm gonna put it in good figure for now very solid kofi kingston i like that figure a lot next up is rikishi i'm putting this in good figure because i think the greatest hits is better the greatest hits that just re-released of this said figure actually has double jointed arms and uh it's 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 a little bit better than this figure here so i'm gonna put this in good figure very great figure this figure was legendary given why it's in the greatest hits line right i mean that just makes the most sense but i'm gonna put him in good figure very standout rikishi figure not much to say other than it's good next up elite 27 undertaker i think this is a solid figure i don't know if it's quite good figure like it's solid it's not gonna shatter the earth it came with the i'm putting it in mid i'm putting it in meh the reason i'm putting it in meh because it came with this stiff as hell entrance jacket that was so, it was like a damn cocoon of rubber man you couldn't move him one bit you wrap this thing up in him and you can barely see him he's just stiff as shish. I don't like I, like the figure's not bad per se. It's a solid head sculpt but everything else other than that is just kind of meh. I think it fits perfectly in the meh section so I'm going to put him there. A, ne a, ne a, next, a next figure 
The next figure is Big Show Elite 28. This is a good figure. If you wanted to put this in, go buy it. You probably could. I'm going to put him up here. I think it's a really solid Big Show. Great gear on it. Solid head sculpt. Really big. I like the blue boots on him. They gave him like the biggest knee pads you've ever seen in your entire life, which makes sense. It is the Big Show, but uh, yeah, he doesn't pose around the best, but as the Big Show, it's a solid Big Show figure. I'm putting him in good figure right there. Next up is Elite 28 Bray Wyatt, and if you want a Wyatt family Wyatt, this is the one to go with. I'm going to put him in Go Buy It. Not my favorite figure ever, but I like the hat. I love the Hawaiian shirt. I love the white pants. Weird formula for Bray Wyatt, but you know what? I'm just going to I'm, I'm gonna go with that. I like this figure a lot. I think that it's solid, and uh, yeah, I think it's a standout figure. I like this one. I like this one. I remember everybody being hyped for this one. I'm going to put him there. Better than the Elite 36 Bray Wyatt, and uh, it's a good one. Uh, great head sculpt on the guy, especially for the time. I like the, the Bray Wyatt right there. Next up is Demolition Crush. Demolition Crush is go buy it. You know, this is one of those figures that people really want to see a re-release of, I'm sure. Uh, very good figure, solid head, head to toe. I think the formula is good. He's very toyetic, great face paint. I like this figure a lot, and it's go buy it. It's actually one that I do not own, so that just kind of tells you how uh, this figure kind of escapes people. So I'm going to go with him in the go buy it section. I think you, you definitely need that one in the collection. Got to fill the hole in the collection. That's a one to fill the hole with. Next up, we have some legends as well, man. We have the Road Warriors in Animal and Hawk, and I'm putting both of them in the go buy it. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm not going to sit here and cover one of them. Both, they're both highly detailed. Love the entrance gear, similar to Crush here. I think I do like, uh, I like them both better than Crush. I like them both better than Bray Wyatt. I'd probably put them, yeah, I'd probably put them here. Maybe nah, I'd put that there. I like that right there. For now, at the end, we are going to adjust our ranking just a little bit, but I think uh, you got to have both these guys in the collection. They look really good. We've gotten them, I think, on two separate occasions in Elite Form. We got a couple Legends, and then we got them here, and they're both very good. I like them a lot. They just stand out on the shelf. They look really good. All those things, yeah, go buy it. Absolutely, got to have it. Next up is going to be CM Punk Elite 29. This is go buy it. Uh, one of the best punks. I think it's the last main Elite line punk that we saw is Elite 29. Cloth hoodie, great gear. Great mutton chops head sculpt. I mean, what what the hell do you want, Brad? I, what the hell do you want? Great punk figure. I'd probably move that. You know what? I'm putting him at the top. I'm putting him at the top, all right? Sue me. Sue me. Please don't. Next up is Eric Rowan. This figure right here is so damn bad, and I'm going to put him in barely acceptable at the bottom. These are some of the worst figures, and it's not because of aesthetic. I mean, it kind of is aesthetic. Like, the jumpsuit's kind of weird, you know? I think they'd be better off releasing, like, a body, and they probably would have sold more units, too. If they had just given us a body and then giving us a jumpsuit similar to the elite 32 daniel bryan had they given us a giant bodysuit that velcroed in the back in green with like a pocket sewed on there and like just giving us some pants like that over a blank wrestling body with like like some trunks that figure would have sold better it would have posed better because the angled sleeves right here his arms can only go out so far it's very headache to pose the only reason i'm putting him in barely acceptable is because it's an acceptable head sculpt and it did complete our wyatt family and it came with the the sheep mask and so so all those things add to him being in barely acceptable. Uh, very close to being in the garbage, though. Uh, that's kind of where I stand there. Next up is Elite 29 Luke Harper. I'm going to put this one in good figure because I think that the Elite 35 Luke Harper is better. Even though this one's very damn good, I put Elite 35 Luke Harper over this one, and that's why I put this one in good figure. I love this figure. He poses around great. Luke Harper figures are super underrated for posing. This figure is very damn good. I'm going to put him in good figure here. Kind of makes me sick that Bray Wyatt's in Go Buy It, and he's in good figure, but there's better versions, but then again, this is a better version as well. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it here. We'll see what happens. Next up, Elite 30 Batista. Go Buy It. Fantastic effing Batista figure. Tad it up. It's even got like it's some of his leg tats very poseable great looking gear it's i mean it's plain jane gear but it's damn good gear you know what i mean so batista fantastic head sculpt great tattoo work it's got a sick ass tattoo on his back i'm pretty sure they posed in reverse in the packaging because of how great the tattoo looked on the back and it's damn good it's very very good next up elite 30 brock lesnar this one's good figure i put him like he's very damn good he comes with track pants all these different things but there's better brock lesnar figures out there and so i'm not gonna sit here and say go buy this one specifically because it's very similar to his other ones, but there's better ones. So I'm going to put that one in good figure. You can get the ultimate. You can get the GameStop one. It's, I mean, the GameStop one's not good. It had a horrible head sculpt, by the way. Retract that statement, Brad. But this figure is good. It's a good figure. It's actually maybe the best one in this set right here. But it's good. It's a
it's a good figure. Next up, RVD Elite 27. If this guy that uh, wrote this article that we covered the other day, he'd probably put it and go buy it, but I'm going to put it in good figure. You know, nothing uh, crazy about it. The Elite 91 is the one you want to go buy. Hands down, this one's not bad. Mid head sculpt, uh, decent gear, not the greatest gear ever. I'm going to put it in good figure. I like the figure a lot, but it's not, it's not go buy it, man. It's not go buy it. It's just not. Next up is Ryback. I mean, just just meh, I guess. Like, it's not it's not egregious. I felt like he was too small. They made his figures, like, really stumpy looking. And he's ripped up and shredded as he was in real life. But I just feel like he's so stumpy. Like, he's kind of like Mark Henry, which we'll get into in a moment. It's just like, they don't capture the mass of these guys, and they look kind of weird up next to other characters, and that's kind of where I go. So I'm gonna go with meh. Not a great gear at all. I'll, honestly, barely acceptable is probably better. I'm gonna move him down to barely acceptable. He's barely acceptable. I'm sticking by it. Next up, Elite 29 Gold Dust. Damn good gold dust figure. I'm going to put it in good figure. I'm not going to put it and go buy it. I think there are better gold dust, but this is a great gold dust. Great head sculpt. Head to toe. Damn good. I think he, he didn't come with a robe, and he came with a wig. He came with a couple interchangeable shirts, like the, you know, like the Ryback cut style, like the muscle tee without any sides. Yeah, just, it's it's good figure. It's not anything super special awesome, so I'm going to put him in good figure for now. Next up is Roman Reigns. This one's going to go to meh for me. Uh, just a lot of things about it. It's like his rookie figure, like his his start out elite. Never been a big fan of the shield legs. It kind of makes him look bow legged. If you look at any shield figure with the legs, it just look even to this day with the new Roman Reigns, they're kind of bow legged depending on how you get them. And you can fix that to a specific to a degree, you can fix it, but still, uh, you know, and also the shoulder tattoo, they, like, put it way over here. It's, like, a gap, like, 10 inches wide, and it really bothers me, and plus, he his ab crunch isn't the best because of his vest, and you can say, oh, well, that's, you know, that's the, just the times. Like, what else are you supposed to do for the vest? And, like, I get it, but, like, the shoulder gap. The head sculpt's not great. It's not a horrible head sculpt. It's just not the best. And then the shield legs. There's a bunch of things. There's just better Romans, man, and I know this is, like, the start-out Roman, but it's meh. It's just meh, all right? It's Next up is Elite 26 Mark Henry. Barely acceptable, Brad. Barely acceptable. Love the shirt. Love Mark Henry. Love the look of it. But his figures are, so, like, his figures are some of my least favorite that Mattel makes. Because when you, like, barely move the leg, it feels like it's going to snap into a trillion pieces. He cannot move, which Mark Henry's, is he just going to go out there like ricochet? Hell no. But it's, it's just, it's an action figure. I'd like to be able to move him just a little bit. And I feel like anytime you move the leg, they're going to snap off. It feels really tight. And it's just, I just want them to represent Mark Henry better. And it looks like him, but again, it's similar to Ryback. It just looks so small compared to other figures. It's just like this weird dynamic. His ankles also get really loose. He's got big knee pads on, which, it, like, forget bending the knee, Brad. You throw in the stiffness with the big-ass knee pads and the ankle joints. It's like, it, it's just a nightmare to move around. And so, for that reason, put him in barely acceptable. Next up is Elite 28 Triple H. All of his figures are pretty good. You know what I mean? Like, Triple H has an outstanding track record of good figures. But for me, I'm going to put him in... I think I'm going to put him in meh. No, I'm going to put him in good figure. I'll put him in good figure. You know, it's got, it's black tape. Triple H came with two sledgehammers. He came with entrance headgear. We basically got this figure like three times, but uh, I still like it. You know what I'm saying? It's the Toys R Us exclusive except with black hand tape and not the special edition packaging that the Toys R Us exclusive got. But I don't know, man. It's just, it's not my favorite. Next up is Lex Luger Elite Series 30. Damn good figure, man. This is a damn good figure. Is it go buy it? It might be. It just might be, Brad. It's damn good. Lex Express, bro. It's damn good. It really is. I'm going to put it in good figure. God, I'm going to put it in go buy it. I really like the figure. The gear's great. Head scope's great. Love the formula. Represents him good. I'm going to put him in go buy it. You know what? Go get you a Lex Luger looking like damn Major Glory over here, bro. Good Jesus. What a fantastic figure. I like that figure a lot. Next up, Elite 29 Andre. This is go buy it right here. This is go buy it. It's probably the best version of wrestling gear, Andre, that you can buy right now from Mattel. You have a few different options, but I think it's my favorite one. You get interchangeable, like, head sculpts because you get a hair piece. You get the cloth singlet's really cool. Andre figures are really good, but I think it's better than the Elite 60. I think it's better, you know, as a wrestling gear, Andre, it is the epitome of wrestling gear Andre so I'm gonna put him in go buy it I think that's easy that's easy man that's a layup right there that is uh yeah that's a that's an easy decision there and then last but not least we have elite 28 Daniel Bryan this figure 
is very good. I like this figure a lot. Great head sculpt, solid gear, terrible torso. You guys know how they did Daniel Bryan, but I think I'm going to put him in good figure. I think he's good figure, really strong. I think that's it. That is every single figure, Elite Series 26 through 30. Let's go ahead and go through here and see if I want to make any tweaks, starting out with Go Buy It. The best figure from here, I love the Elite 30 Batista figure. I think I'd move him at the front. I like the Elite 29 Punk a lot. I love the hoodie. The cloth hoodie's damn good. I think I'd leave him there. I like this. Uh, I'd probably move Andre up right here. Right here, damn it. Okay, right there. I like that. I like that. I'd probably move Lex Luger up. I like that Lex Luger figure for some reason. I, I just think it looks so toyetic. He's just he's such a badass. I, I like the go buy it section right here. This is money. Um, all the figures in good figure. There's so many figures here that if you wanted to buy... Like, this is... a. This is a perfect example. A lot of figures are perfect examples of if you wanted to put them in the collection, I'd understand, but it's not go buy it worthy. Like you don't, like it's not must have, but it, like, like there's probably iterations of the guy that you get that are better. So like this Elite 30 Brock Lesnar, fantastic. Luke Harper, RVD, Kofi Kingston, Triple H, Road Dog. This is probably the best Road Dog you can find because the the Legends figure was missing some details and the Hall of Champions was good too which i also have that's probably the best one but i like all these figures man these are all good but they're not must have i like this ranking a lot right here like this brock lesnar's damn good like all this is money zone right here i like all this man i like this as well and barely acceptable i'm i'm cool with it man i actually like this ranking right here i know that obviously some of you will feel differently here you know you probably think this figure's mad this figure's go buy it worthy all these different things but at the end of the day you can make your own tier list video and uh tell me what you guys think that is going to wrap up our ranking of wwe elite series 20 6 through 30 in, in every individual figure and all those different things, man. But that is going to wrap up today's video. However, if you guys are interested in the 1 of 5,000 Darby Allen, again, go check out the Patreon link in the description below. Go check it out. Just look at the tiers, man. Look at the tiers. See if it's anything you're interested in. If you're interested in entering a figure giveaway every single month. If it's something you're interested in, man, definitely go check it out. But Darby Allen is over there. Started off hot with the Patreon page, the initial launch. Also, MDT merch is available. I think the new design goes up today. Don't know if it's up by now at the time you're seeing this video i doubt it is but it should be up later on today so we have a new design drop in over there i appreciate everybody who's purchased so far but i'm getting out of here man thank you guys so very much for watching check out the merch check out the patreon follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i appreciate you guys so very much have a blessed day i'll see you next time we'll never be